Good morning, 6RH. Uh, I hope you've had a restful weekend. Welcome back to some of our remote learning. Uh, today, we're looking at understanding and using conditional clauses. I want you to understand the purpose of a conditional clause and which conjunctions can be used to introduce one. So, we can use conditional clauses in sentences when one thing depends on another. Here we have an example. The swallows will nest here if we leave them alone. The underlined section is the conditional clause and if is the conjunction that links them together. So the swallows will nest here if we leave them alone. The conditional clause only works when one thing depends on the other. So the swallows will nest here if we leave them alone. So if we don't leave them alone, they won't nest here. The swallows nesting here depends completely on us leaving them alone. And the word if is our conjunction that joins them together. One thing won't happen without the other happening. Here's another example. Pandas will die out unless we save them. Okay, so their survival depends on us saving them. The word at the start of the conditional clause again is our conjunction and that is unless in this case. So they always begin with a conjunction. The conjunctions can be one word or a phrase and you can see these examples at the bottom. So if unless provided are all one word. However, the others are still conjunctions, however, they're phrases, so they're made up of a few words. If only, only if, on condition that, as long as, providing that and assuming that. Those are the conjunctions you're going to come across today. So if you look out for those words, they are going to introduce the conditional clause. Where you find that word, it will start your conditional clause in today's work. If you're asked to add some of your own, you need to use one of these words or phrases to introduce your, con your conditional clause. So you're completing unit 20 today. You can complete it onto a piece of paper, onto a sheet. Okay, look out for the conjunctions. They're the signal that you need. And then when you've finished your work, upload it onto Seesaw and I'll give you some feedback. And if you've got any questions, you can always ask on Class Dojo or Seesaw. Good luck.